Dolomite is one of the oldest geological formations found all over the world. This rock type has been around for millions of years and over this very long period of time continued to dissolve, leaving it highly weathered for the most part. These highly weathered dolomite terrains are known by geologists as cast terrains. Cast terrains are rich in a variety of plants and animals and are well known for their fresh underground water sources. In more recent times, because of prolonged dissolution and weathering of the dolomite, interconnected underground cave systems and caverns make up its subsurface character. These cave systems and caverns vary greatly in size and can be connected with each other for kilometers on end. About 10% of the Earth's dry land is underlain by dolomite. In South Africa, the distribution of dolomite is not as vast, but highly concentrated urban development took place on some of the dolomite. A total of 40 of the 234 local municipalities of South Africa are affected by the dolomite to some degree. In these 40 municipalities, approximately 4 to 5 million people work and live on dolomite. Dolomite in South Africa is found in two very specific geographical locations. The first area, referred to as a basin, covers large areas of the Northern Cape province and parts of the Northwest province. This basin is called the Rikwaland West Basin. The second basin, where dolomite occurs, is in the so-called Transvaal Basin. The Transvaal Basin covers large parts of the Northwest province, Limpopo province, Gauteng province and Mpumalanga province. It stretches from the Orkney Stillfontein area to Pochestrom and onwards to Fenersdorp and Kaltenville. From Kaltenville it stretches towards Pretoria, some parts of Soweto and towards the East Rand. Small parts in the Limpopo province between Mahalakwen and Tabazimbi, as well as parts in Mpumalanga province in the Kraskop Sabi area, are also affected by dolomite. <laughs> dolomitic rock formed over millions of years. As time passed, the dolomitic rock was dissolved by acidic rainwater, causing large underground caves to form. The reason why this happens is because of the chemical composition of dolomite. Dolomite is made up of minerals, calcium, magnesium, and carbonate. In other places where the rocks still have a lot of calcium and carbonate in it, but less magnesium, it is called limestone. Limestone also has the same hazards as dolomite. Rocks that have carbonate minerals in them are easily dissolved in acidic water. To illustrate this, let's take different rock types and put them in concentrated acid. This is the andesite. This one is the chert. And we have the dolomite. Now we're going to put these rock samples in the concentrated acid. The chat. And we have the dolomite. As observed, the acid is not affecting the andesite and the chat, but the dolomite easily dissolves into the acid. This is a chat and this is a dolomite. And this is how it will look like after being exposed to acidic conditions. If we put this to scale, this is how the underground conditions will look like in a dolomitic area. A vast amount of urban and industrial development has taken place on dolomite over the past century, which over time led to unstable conditions of the dolomite. Today, we have to be extra vigilant and be aware of the dangers that dolomite presents for those communities residing and working on it. Dolomite rock is dissolved over a long period of time, leaving the underground conditions full of caves and cavities. These caves and cavities are sometimes filled with water and broken pieces of rock caused by erosion. Erosion is a process during which soil or rock is transported or washed away by means of water. 
In Dolomite areas, erosion takes place where water transports soil and rock downwards into the caves and cavities in the dolomite rock, which will eventually form a sinkhole or subsidence at the surface. Yo! A sinkhole is a hole in the ground which can be small or very big. Once enough of the underground soil and rock has been eroded away, the final cover of the cave will break through and cause a hole to open up at the ground surface. Yo, yo, yo. This can easily cause a whole house or even more than one house to fall in and result in extensive property damage and even the loss of life. I'm out of here. Two main types of erosion can take place in dolomite areas. The first is when, over time, the groundwater table moves up and down, either because of natural fluctuations caused by dry and rainy seasons, or because of obstruction of the groundwater due to human activities such as mining, drinking water, and so forth. As this happens, the soil and the rock gradually starts to be eroded away, which can cause a sinkhole or subsidence to form. The second process is when water infiltrates the ground from above. This causes the soil and rock to erode away into the underlying caves and cavities because of leaking water or sewer pipes, swimming pools, water that is ponding in an area, or because of poor storm water drainage after a rainstorm. In South Africa to date, approximately 40 people died due to sinkholes, but billions of rents of property damages are recorded. Since the 1990s, more than 800 sinkholes were recorded in the Pretoria Centurion area. About 96% of these sinkholes were caused because of human interaction with the dolomite, either due to groundwater obstruction or leaking water pipes, poor storm water control and so on. Although sinkholes and subsidences cannot be predicted with a lot of certainty as to when and where they are going to occur, the risk of sinkholes forming can be managed, thus making living on dolomite safer. Investigations have to be conducted to determine what the current underground conditions are in a dolomitic area. These investigations also determine where houses and infrastructure can be built. Infrastructure and houses on Dolomite have to comply with required standards and procedures to minimize the risk. What can I do to help with Dolomite risk management? Fix any leaking taps, water pipes or sewer pipes in your residential area immediately. Report any leaking water tap, water pipe, sewer pipe or area where water ponds in your environment to your municipality or city council immediately. Report any blocked pipe or stormwater drain and overflowing manhole immediately. Do not flush any foreign objects such as nappies, rubbish, plastic, etc. down the toilet that can block the sewer pipes. Make sure that you do not build or upgrade your house without permission or approved building plans. All new buildings or extensions to existing buildings should be reported to the Dolomite Help Desk for evaluation by the Dolomite Specialist and approved by your municipality or city council building department before constructions may take place. Make sure that water does not pond on property or against the house and that storm water flow is not obstructed or confined, either by your own property or by that of a neighbor. Check after every rainstorm that water drains away from the house and into the street or the next property. Look out for large cracks in and around your house. If sudden cracks are observed, contact your local municipality or the Dolomite help desk immediately. Listen for any strange, rumbling or unfamiliar noise, earth tremors or the sound of falling rocks beneath the house. These may all indicate the collapse of a possible sinkhole and the premises must be evacuated immediately and your local emergency number contacted.